Hello, Chris Richter here. Welcome back to ricochet.com.au. We're going to look at what size images you need to use to put into your Moodle server. So this is for administrators more than anything. We'll show you what the sizes are that you need to use and how to go about putting them into the standard Moodle theme. But before we go into that, make sure you check out the courses in the description for this video. And you see there we've got some courses on Moodle 4.0, Adobe Illustrator. If you'd like to access all the courses, then we also have an access all areas for you. So check those out and hopefully there's something useful for you there. If you're a programmer as well, we've got some uh, how to create a child theme, how to create a plugin, all those sort of things. Let's move on to what we need to do to create our logos and add them to our Moodle server that you may have all set up and you want it to look fantastic. So we're using the standard boost theme. For the boost theme, there are two main logos that we use. One is in the login screen, which is the one shown on the right. And the other one is the icon, which is a square icon that's used up in the top left hand corner in the navigation bar. So the size of those two images will be dependent on the screen size that you're using as well, because it does scale to a larger size, but there is a limit to how big that scales. So if we go to the largest of that, we can then work out what the image sizes should be. In our case, for our little logo up here on the left, if we inspect, you'll see that the navigation bar area is 61 pixels. And in this case, it's actually resized our image. So if we just have a look at our image, it's resized it down to 52 by 52. I had it at 300, so really, or realistically, uh, 100 or 150 is plenty for the size. We can even go to 100 and that would be quite okay, quite acceptable and still look like the quality that we need. So we could do 100 by 100. That can vary if you think that there's a need to go any bigger or if you're planning on changing your theme. Remember, this is the standard boost theme, so that's why it uh, takes it down to that size. So 100 by 100 is a great size to use for that logo. If we look at our logo on the right-hand side, which is the login logo, and we inspect, we can then go and have a look at the image itself and see what size it comes down to. Now, I created it at 916 by 200. The minimum size that we would want to have is 1600 by 130. We could probably make that a little bit bigger if we like, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's just remember 600 by 130, and we might scale that up before we create the image. So we've got a 100 by 100 and 600 by 130. So let's go and grab those images, resize them, and I'll show you where and how to upload them. So I've got my logo in Adobe Illustrator at the size of, let's go to the artboard, at the artboard 100 by 100, which is what we wanted. It's in that color at the moment. So just to show you the difference that, you know, we're actually changing this logo, I'm going to change the color and we'll make it a black logo, just so you can see the contrast of it. If we go to file and export, and we're exporting artboard number two here out of Illustrator. So export as, now it's PNG or JPEG. Now I'm gonna use PNG because then we can use the transparency for it. It's uh, artboard number two, which is fine. And we'll just replace that, Ricochet Web 2022. You can see it there. It's at 150 DPI, which is fine. All right, jump to our other logo. The logo is 600 by 130, which we did say we might change that to a little bit higher just so there's a bit more room in case we use a different theme that has a slightly bigger area or a bigger size. So we can go into Edit Artboard. Instead of 600, we can make that maybe 800, but we need to make sure we lock the ratio first. So then we choose 800 and that will jump up to 173, which is the size that it wants it to be. We can go exit, and then we can resize our content to fit that. So I'll just hold shift and resize, and there we go. I can group that and align center as well if I like. I like it to have it off to the left a bit because that's the way the logo generally goes with enough space top, left and bottom to make that circle seem like it's in the center of the left. Okay, now the other thing to do is to just recolor this black so that it is consistent with us changing our logo so we can see the changes. We'll file and export. This time we're exporting artboard number one. So we'll go artboard number one, leave our transparency uh, where it is. And this will be the uh, We'll call it banner instead of individual logo. And select OK. Now that we have our logos ready, we need to go to Site Administration. 
There's two ways we can go about finding this. We can type in logo into the search or we can go into the actual logo part of the server under appearance and logos. And you'll see the two logos that we have in here. We have a logo, uh, which is the main banner logo. And then we have a compact logo, which is our square logo. Notice that it says it has to be as a PNG or a JPEG. So we've covered that, right? We do need to delete the current one before we can put the new one in. So I'm going to delete both of those, select them, click delete and OK. Then I'll go and grab those files, drop them in. First of all, our logo goes in. Then our compact logo is next. We put that in, save changes. And it depends on whether the server's cached that image or not, but it should change straight away in most cases. So there we go, there's our logo change there. And if I log out, you can see there that the login logo is now the Ricochet. Just to recap the sizes that we used for this little logo, it was 100 by 100. For our login logo, we used 800 by 173. So hopefully that should get you out of trouble and give you a bit of an idea on what the images are you need. JPEG or PNG is fine. Hopefully you found that useful and are now able to change your logos or add new logos into your standard Moodle 4.0 Boost theme. My name is Chris Richter. I will talk to you again in the next video. Don't forget to check out the courses down below in the description. I'll talk to you soon.